There has been some high profile flexes recently. Jeff Bezos purchased a $500 million yacht. Mark Zuckerberg purchased $170 million worth of Hawaiian land. And Jay-Z purchased a $200 million Malibu mansion. But none of these compare to NVIDIA's latest flex. Jensen Huang, the iconic leather jacket wearing CEO, just pulled the ultimate flex. He and NVIDIA acquired the AI company Run.AI. Now, do you want to find out why NVIDIA bought this AI startup, how much they bought it for, and why? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all about that and more. Run.AI was founded in 2018 by Omri Geller and Ronan Dar. They met while studying for their PhD at Tel Aviv University in Israel. They founded Run.AI on one simple mission, to build a platform that could break up AI models into fragments that run in parallel across hardware. If they could accomplish this goal, they could make it easy for the average corporate software engineer to manage AI GPU clusters either on-site or in the cloud. A task that's not trivial with NVIDIA's current out-of-the-box software called DCGM. It's a powerful program, no doubt, but it's still difficult to use. You're going to need a lot of experience with hardware infrastructure and information technology to use it. Not something everyone has in their tool belts. And that's where Run.AI comes in. It sits on top of NVIDIA's out-of-the-box DCGM software and makes managing a company's AI hardware easier than before. It essentially dumbs down DCGM's data and outputs it in a clear and straightforward interface, thus making managing AI clusters simpler for the everyday user. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not like your 90-year-old grandma, the grandma who can't remember her password, will be using run.ai anytime soon. You're not going to walk in on her firing up a cloud-based GPU farm. You know, the one that she's using to train her very own chat GPT. Users of run.ai will still need to be proficient with technical data to use the tool properly. So don't worry, Grandma GPT won't be launching in the foreseeable future. Even though this acquisition just took place, run.ai will be available to NVIDIA HGX, DGX, and DGX Cloud customers right now. These acronyms are just fancy words for NVIDIA hardware platforms, which come with NVIDIA's GPU chips. So next time you purchase 10 of those $30,000 NVIDIA H100 chips, rest assured, they'll come with run.ai software for free. What a deal. Now you know what run.ai does, but why did Jensen Huang and NVIDIA buy this flourishing startup? Let's dive into the not so obvious reason first. NVIDIA, just like all other companies that are publicly traded on the US stock market, are under tremendous pressure to continually grow and post profits. This pressure comes from the stock owners themselves. They're like the fat guy wearing tight Lululemon workout clothes at the Golden Corral buffet. The guy that's already eaten four plates of pizza, spaghetti, fried chicken, and steak, but is still hungry for more. He needs that final plate of mounded up mashed potatoes to quench his hunger. Like this ravenous eater wanting more food, stock investors have an insatiable appetite for stock price go up. And one of the easiest ways for companies to make stock price go up is via acquisitions. This acquisition of Run.ai is no different. It costs NVIDIA around $700 million to buy this company, which is an insane amount of money. But that's nothing for NVIDIA. Its stock only needs to go up 2 to $3 to pay for this $700 million purchase. And that's with their stock hovering around $900 per share. That's only a 0.032% increase. Let that sink in. The second reason why NVIDIA purchase run.ai is to make it easier for the average Joe to use its GPU chips. With the purchase of this company, NVIDIA is making AI cluster management easier than ever. Hey, maybe even one day grandma will be able to train AI by herself. The third reason NVIDIA purchased run.ai is due to NVIDIA's large presence in Israel. They employ more than 3,200 workers in this country, which is over 15% of their entire worldwide workforce. So buying this Tel Aviv company just makes sense geographically. As you can see, there's plenty of reasons why Huang and NVIDIA bought this startup. And that begs the question, if purchasing startups makes a lot of sense financially for NVIDIA, who are they going to buy next? It's not like they're short on cash. In the meantime, and before that happens, just remember, when you're thinking about flexing on social media, 
on how you just bought a new Tesla Model X, take a breath and take a bite out of that humble pie. Because that's nothing compared to Jensen Huang's $700 million flex of purchasing run.ai. That's it for tonight. If you wanna learn more about NVIDIA and AI, check out my other vid, NVIDIA Stock Split, when, why, and what's next. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.